Hey guys, it's nice to see you again. Today we are going to discuss another topic and it's all about in the introduction to circular functions. And our learning competency is we are going to illustrate the different circular functions. And of course, before that, let us first discuss the concept on unit circle. When you say unit circle, it is said to be a circle with a radius of one unit and it is usually centered at the origin on a coordinate plane as you observe on our diagram here. Okay? Let us show the angles included in the unit circle in terms of degrees. Let us find out the different multiples of 30 degrees then of course the 45 degrees. Let's start with the 30 degrees. 30 degrees, 60 degrees, 90 degrees, we have 120 degrees, we have 150 degrees, 180 degrees, we have 210 degrees, 240 degrees, 270 degrees, 300 degrees, 330 degrees, and of course 360 degrees, that inclusive of our one revolution. Now how about the multiples of 45 degrees? Okay, we have 45 degrees, then we have 135 degrees, and of course the 225 degrees and lastly we have 315 degrees now after the angles included in terms of degrees let us now determine the angles included in terms of regions let's start with the multiples of pi over 6 we have pi over 6 then of course followed by pi over 3 we have pi over 2 2 pi over 3 5 pi over 6, pi, 7 pi over 6, 4 pi over 3, 3 pi over 2, 5 pi over 3, 11 pi over 6, and of course we have 2 pi. Of course you could compute that or check that by converting our degree measurement to a region measurement. Now let's have the, the multiples of pi over 4. We have pi over 4. 3 pi over 4, 5 pi over 4, and of course we have the 7 pi over 4. So after determining the uh, different angles included in our uh, unit circle, let us now determine the coordinates of the unit circle. Starting with, of course, with the axis. Okay, of course we have a 1, 0, 0, 1, negative 1, 0, and we have 0, negative 1. Now the question is, how can we find the coordinates at 30 degrees and 40 degrees? Or 45 degrees, so they say. Okay, so let us determine how do we know the different coordinates of that. Okay, let us pick a point on the circle. We'll choose a point where the x is said to be 1 half. If the x is 1 half, what will be the value of y? Okay, so there you have. Then of course, we all know that our r there is 1 because it is said to be in the unit circle. You can see there are two y values. They can be found by putting 1 half into the equation for x and solving for y. Now we recall our um, standard form for the equation of a circle, which is x squared plus y squared equals 1. Okay. So we have already know the value of our x which is 1 half. So substituting it from our given equation. So quantity 1 half square plus y square equals 1. Then we're going to solve for that unknown which is y square. So simply as we simplify 1 half quantity square is set to be 1 fourth. Then transpose that to the other side. 1 minus 1 fourth is simply 3 fourth. Now that would be the value of y square equals 3 fourth. Then we need to extract. So y therefore is positive or negative square root of 3 over 2. Okay, so that is the value now of our y. So you noti notice here that the coordinates, okay, we have 1 half square root of 3 over 2. The same true on the other side, which is this one, okay, so 1 half, then ne negative square root of 3 over 2. Now if we are going to draw a, another solution for determining the coordinates of this unit circle is through 
this diagram which is of course uh, the first one of the special triangles is the 30 60 90 okay this was being used a while ago um, of course um, we have here the one unit for the hypotenuse and of course for the 30 degree angle we have one half then of course the 60 degree angle opposite that is square of 3 over 2 okay on the other hand what if okay there you have it then of course our coordinates which is one half square root of three over two then the other one special type of triangle is the 45 45 90 so there you have so for the 45 degrees they have both square root of two over two for the values of the sides and then of course determining our coordinates therefore we have the square root of two over two and square root of two over two so that is for the 45 45 90 degree okay and of course lastly what if we have here the same to a while ago with the 30 60 90 so it's just a matter of interchanging the value of your x and y so the coordinates of this is square root of 3 over 2 and then we have 1 half okay so how about the others on the other quadrants of our unit circle how do we determine that okay we all know that when we use reflections of the triangles it is said to be symmetric so symmetric rules so the same true here so what will be the difference it's just a matter of what the same coordinates uh, with respect to y but of course opposite sign with respect to x so therefore we have negative square root of 3 over 2 and of course 1 half as you notice on our quadrant 1 and then this, of course this is on um, quadrant 2 okay now next one is uh, on the 45 45 90 so our coordinates there is square root of 2 over 2 square root of 2 over 2 again reflect uh, use reflections of the triangles there you have it so the same and of course same uh, coordinates with respect to y but opposite with respect to x so there you have negative square root of 2 over 2 and then square root of 2 over 2 so there you have it guys and then of course for the another angle here is of course we have the 30 60 90 and of course uh, determining the reflection of that there you have it guys so the same y coordinates but opposite sign of your x coordinates we have negative one half square root of three over two so as you notice here guys how did we come up with the coordinates it's just a matter of um, using Pythagorean theorem and of course the special types of triangle a while ago now let us determine okay let us complete this diagram of the unit circle okay and this you know what guys this is needed for us for the circular functions okay so we need to be uh, to familiarize ourselves or memorize our uh, with us uh, with this coordinates of our unit circle okay so for 30 degrees we have a square root of 3 over 2 1 half Okay, opposite of that in the other quadrant and then of course reflecting on the other quadrant again and then of course this one so there you have it guys the square root of 3 over 2 and 1 half it's just a matter of changing the signs of it's either the y or your x-axis okay next one is the 45 degrees we have uh, take note of that remember when you say 45 degrees they have both square root of 2 over 2 both x and y they're equal coordinates okay so again the only difference is it's just a matter of changing the positive to negative signs okay there you have it guys and of course the last one is with respect to 60 degrees we have one half square root of 3 over 2 okay it's just a reflection again to the other side the other quadrant negative one half square root of 3 over 2 negative one half square uh, negative square root of three over two and of course one half negative square root three over two okay so that is the coordinates of our unit circle okay now let's have here of course as we introduce circular functions we define the six trigonometric functions in such a way that the domain of each function is the set of angles in standard position these angles are measured either in degrees or in regions and of course in our lesson 
we would modify these trigonometric functions so that the domain will be real numbers rather than a set of angles. Okay, the first one here is your sine theta. The value of that is simply your y coordinate. So sine theta is equals to y. On the other hand, cosine theta is equals to x. So you notice there, the value of x is cosine, the value of your y is sine. And of course, for the tangent, it's, uh, there you have it, y over x. So these are our primary trigonometric functions. And with respect to the secondary trig uh, trig functions, it's just a reciprocal of the first one. The reciprocal of sine is simply cosecant which is 1 over y or the reciprocal. Then for cosine, we have second, which is the reciprocal, which is uh, 1 over x. And of course, for tangent, the reciprocal of this is cotangent, which is x over y. Okay, guys, we have here an example. Okay, for our example, find the exact values of the six circular functions given theta, which is 30 degrees. Okay, so 30 degrees as we are going to illustrate this one from the properties of the 30, 60, 90 right triangles, we obtain that the length of the legs, which is, uh, we have R or radius is one unit and of course for the value of Y is one half. Okay, substituting it from our equation, um, we have one square minus quantity one half square. So therefore, we have their square root of 3 over 2. Okay, as we picture it out, guys, we have, um, of course, this 60 degree angle. And then, of course, opposite that one is our um, 60 degrees. So our radius here is 1 unit and our y is 1 half. So from our value a while ago, wherein we have solved it already, we have known it already a while ago. So our value of our x is simply square root of 3 over 2. Now the question is we are asked to find the six trigonometric functions. Let's start with sine. So if sine theta is equals to y, the value of our y here is 1 half. So simply our value of our y, uh, our sine is simply sine 30 degrees is 1 half. That's our answer for the first um, trigo function. The second one is with respect to cosine. We all know that cosine as a value of your x coordinate, so which is square root of 3 over 2. So cosine 30 degrees is simply square root of 3 over 2. And then, of course, the next trigo function is tan tangent. Okay, so we have here the value which is y over x. So simply, you get the value of your y which is 1 half, and then with your respect to your x is square root of 3 over 2. Okay. So there you have it guys, so 1 half all over square root of 3 over 2. And we all know as we simplify this further, okay, that our complex fraction is that um, we proceed to multiplication and applying reciprocal of that. So 1 half times 2 square root of 3, you get the reciprocal of your denominator. Then of course we cancel the common with respect to 2. Okay, so we have here 1 over square root of 3. Do we accept it as our final answer? Not yet, because we need to rationalize or meaning remove a radical sign on the denominator. So simply multiply both your numerator and the denominator with the square root of 3 over square root of 3. Okay, so therefore, as we simplify it further, the numerator is square root of 3, the denominator is square root of 9, which is simply 3. So tangent 30 degrees is square root of 3 over 3. So this is the third value of our trigo function. Now let's proceed with the other um, secondary trigo functions. Just a matter of getting the reciprocal of our sine. So a while ago sine theta is y. Okay and therefore for uh, cosecant it's just a matter of getting the reciprocal of 1 over y. So when we get the reciprocal of 1 half is simply what? Yes, it's 2 over 1 or 2. So cosecant 30 degrees is 2. Get the reciprocal of 1 half. Reciprocal of 1 half. Okay. And then of course, for the cosine, yes, second theta is 1 over x. Simply the reciprocal of our value of our x. 
So our second theta here is get the reciprocal, it's 2 over square root of 3. So again, we have a radical sign, so all we need to do here, guys, is simply rationalize. So multiply both sides, or simply your numerator and denominator with the square root of 3. Okay? Then, of course, simplify it further for the numerator 2 times square root of 3. Then, of course, for the denominator, square root of 3 times square root of 3. Simply square root of 9. Simplify it further, so we have 3. So, second 30 degrees is said to be 2 square root of 3 over 3. Okay, and of course, the last trigonometric function is with respect to cotangent. And this is just the uh, reciprocal of our tangent theta. So, a while ago, it's y over x. This time, for cotangent, it's x over y. So, simplify and, and of course, substitute it first. Your x is square root of 3 over 2, and with respect to y, it's 1 half. Then, of course, applying your complex fraction, we simply get the reciprocal and proceed to multiplication. Okay, reciprocal of the denominator, so 2 over 1, cancel the common with respect to 2. So, square root of 3 over 1, or simply the value of our cotangent 30 degrees is simply square root of 3. Okay, so these are now the six trigonometric functions or value of our given angle which is 30 degrees okay so let us generalize what we have discussed today of course we have introduced the unit circle as a uh, foundation of our concept on circular functions okay when you say unit circle again it is said to be a circle with a radius of one unit and it is usually centered at the origin of a coordinate plane and with the formula of our standard form of our equation of a circle, which is x squared plus y squared equals 1. Then, of course, we have known already, introduced already our circular functions, the six trigonometric functions, which uh, we have the value of your sine is equals to y. On the other hand, the value of your cosine is you know, with respect to x. And, of course, for the value of your tangent is y over x. And of course, get the reciprocal of that. Reciprocal of sine is uh, cosecant. Then reciprocal of sec um, cosine is second. And of course, reciprocal of tangent is cotangent. So again, guys, um, we have here our simple lesson for today. And once again, hoping you have learned something today. And uh, thank you for listening again, guys. Have a nice day and see you on the next lesson. And don't forget to subscribe in our page and like our videos. Thank you guys.